Hi everyone, my name is Dickens and I'm an orthopedic surgeon based in Kenya. It's written over here. <laughs> so, one or two days ago, the Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education examination results for 2021 have been announced. And as always, we have all the pomp and color. Everyone is celebrating. There are those who are not. But congrats to everyone. But the issue that I wanted to discuss with you guys in this video is the question of whether or not we should continue having all the top students pursuing medicine like yours truly. Okay, now here's a little background for those of you either not Kenyan or don't know my story. I actually went through this same system. I did my Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education examination in 2006 and I happened to, believe it or not, emerge the top student in the country. And so, like it happens to most top students, we decide to go for medicine for various reasons, which vary from one individual to the next. My reasons personally were several, and I have talked about that in another video, and I will link it somewhere over here so that you guys can click and watch it. By the way, as you head over to that video, I'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing to this channel, because here we'll be discussing all matters medicine. Thank you. So now I pursued medicine for five years in the University of Nairobi. I emerged with an MBCHB degree. And then I went ahead to do my master's degree in orthopedic surgery. And here I am. I'm now an orthopedic surgeon. But really a lot has changed since then. And so we have a new question to answer with the current landscape in our country, Kenya. Should we still be encouraging all these top performers to pursue medicine? <laughs> Okay, let me explain this landscape that you're talking about. And this comes against the backdrop of a tweet that I just read. And here it is. The tweet is by this gentleman called Ken Moore. And judging from the profile over here, his bio seems to indicate that he's actually an MBCHB medical student. Top students in the KCSE 2021 want to be Doctors, dear parents, your kids will hopefully graduate in 2030. Please check on the current doctor and employment rate. Consider other options too. Um, it's actually quite on the pessimistic side of things, I must agree. But I should also say that there's some truth, there's some reality in this. At the moment in this country, it's actually becoming a bit difficult for doctors to actually get employment. And here we're talking about young doctors. After they're done with their undergraduate degree and they're done with their internship, they become medical officers. And these medical officers seem to not be having it a bit easy like the way some of us did back then in 2013. We were literally just handed jobs after we were done with our internship. And we started serving the public. We started treating Kenyans. But currently, there has been a lot of changes fueled by so many issues in our society, top of which are economic issues, seeing as counties who are the current employers don't seem to be willing to invest a lot of money into employing new doctors. Plus, there's a lot of corruption going on and so many other things that I've actually pursued in another video, which again, I will link somewhere up here. Is it this side or this side? Not sure. But the point is, at the moment, for you to actually get a chance to, you know, practice medicine. You have to go through some application process, some interview processes, and so on. And it appears that as we go forward, these chances are becoming less and less. And there's a lot of guys, a lot of young doctors who are actually not getting any. And so it's not uncommon nowadays to actually find some guys on social media, LinkedIn, Twitter, and so on, sort of looking for jobs, you know, and posting that if you have some opportunity, a placement here and there, please let me know so that I may apply. And so you'd ask yourself, is it that the demand for medical job is becoming too high? That is, we have a much higher supply of doctors than you can actually employ or what is happening? <laughs> um, so let's get back to this KCSE students. So they did the exam in 2021. The results have been released a few days ago. Congratulations to the top students. And you can see that the very top student in the country is actually called Jariel, Jariel Ndeda. Interesting. And it happens that he actually wants to pursue medicine at Maseno University, which is one of the universities in the country that offers medicine. Oh, by the way, the number of universities offering medicine has also increased. It's now probably about 10 universities. 
compared to my time when we only had about three universities offering medicine and that's only the University of Nairobi where I personally went and more university as the second university then there was Kenyatta University which was just starting up their program. So now here we have this gentleman who wants to pursue medicine at Maseno University. Interesting. Why? Because the number of students who are now able to get into medical school has increased. But the question is, what happens when they get out? So a lot of stuff is subject to change. But at the moment, and by the way, when they get out, it will probably be 2030, according to this gentleman called Ken. I think that's a bit of an exaggeration. Medicine at the moment takes like six years. So I expect that if they are going to join this year, 2022, by 2028, 2029, they're about, actually, it will be close to that 2030 that he's talking about. They should be done. And so I expect that they'll be doing the internship at around 2030. Oh, sounds like a lot of years from now. But yeah, 2030, they should be looking for jobs. And so their fate will be more or less dependent on the government of the day. Will the country be having a good enough government that can prioritize healthcare and actually budget and invest in healthcare for its citizens? Or shall we be having some shambolic government which is riddled with corruption left, right, and center? That is the big question that we need to ask. So the question about whether or not we should encourage these students to actually pursue medicine is really dependent upon what kind of governance we'll have in these next few years. Because the truth is we actually have a comparatively low doctor-to-population ratio in this country. And if we are to achieve the next milestones to, you know, rise up to an upper middle income economy and even a higher income economy, you know, the first world, we would need to have more doctors. The population needs to be healthy. And at the moment, and I have a document here, this is the Kenya Health Workforce Report which was, I think, tabled by the Minister of Health in 2017. You can see it says that by 2015, Kenya had 5,660 doctors and 603 dentists retained in the country, which translated to an approximately 1.5 doctors and 0.2 dentists to 10,000 population. Against the WHO recommended minimum staffing level of 36 doctors per 10,000 population. So literally by 2015, and I can assure you that the situation has not really changed that much. By 2015, we had 1.5 doctors. That is a ratio of one and a half doctors only to 10,000 population. And WHO actually recommends 36 doctors. So literally we need like probably 30 times the number of doctors we have right now. And that's quite, quite, quite a long way to go. So really we need more doctors. And I believe that all these sharp minds should be retained over here. Let them be doctors and let them help improve our economy. And they should definitely be incentivized to pursue medicine because it's a tough pursuit, you know. It makes sense if you can see some light at the end of the tunnel. So Jeriel and the rest, I hope that there will be jobs for you guys at the end of the day and you'll make some good money that is worthy of the effort that you'll be putting into the study and the kind of work that you'll be doing once you become a doctor. And so yeah, currently it's actually true that we have many doctors locally, especially young doctors that are looking for employment. And even those who seem to be employed, you'd be surprised to find out that they're actually doing what is called locums. These are just like temporary jobs that you're paid for per hour. And the truth is because there are few slots that many guys are going for, then even the pay is kind of dwindling. Many employers offer them peanuts just because, you know, they're desperate. So the situation may look dark and bleak and not that hopeful, not that encouraging for the future. But I believe that once more resource is invested into healthcare, more opportunities are opened up for doctors for the good of the population, then in the near future, this doctor should actually get jobs and things should be much better. Just go for your dream, pursue excellence, and success will follow you. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. That is it for this one. Let's chat down in the comment section below. Till next time. No pressure.